Hello and welcome. Let's talk about amoebic liver abscess. So, history. It is common in males, about 20 to 1 ratio, and there is a history of an attack of amoebic dysentery. Now, symptoms. Symptoms are fever with chills and rigors, loss of weight, non productive cough, soldier pain, and pain in the right, right hypochondrium, which is seen in about 90% of the cases. The signs are soft, tender, smooth liver with increased liver span in 70% of the cases. Right sided pleural effusion may be evident. Mild jaundice is not uncommon, especially in cirrhotics and multiple abscesses. Tenderness, rigidity, and skin edema in right hypochondria may be present in acute cases. And in chronic liver, amoebic liver abscess, smooth, firm, hard, and non tender liver may be palpable. Investigations. In Blood leukocytosis is seen. Liver function test can be done where a time is widened. ELP, SGPT, SGOT are altered. Bilirubin and albulin level are altered. Ultrasonography of hepatobiliary system can be done, which is about 90% sensitive. Just X ray CT scan and others can be done. Now, treatment the treatment of choice is metronidazole, which is about 400 to 800 mg. 3 times daily for 7 to 10 days or tinidazole 600 mg twice can be given for 5 days imatin and chloroquine can be given and ultrasound guided white board needle aspiration can be done the follow up after completion of treatment a repeat ultrasonography or CT of the liver is done to see the resolution pathogenesis of amoebic liver abscess ingestion of amoebic cyst by FICO oral route and then development of troposite forming the colon and then passing through the bowel wall and then entry into the liver by portal vein then localization causing liquefactive necrosis and formation of liver abscess that's it end of the topic